Chaperone is a great gun. It's versatile. It hits hard. Like, real hard. Like an 18-wheeler that's rolling down an 80-degree incline. And it's on fire. We all know how the gun works. It's been in the game forever now. By default, its range is already at the stat cap of 100. Roadborne pushes that past the 100 cap, which makes this the longest range slug shotgun ever conceived in Destiny. It's also got a secret perk that I like to call Aimbot, because its aim assist is unfairly high for a slug of such potential magnitude and force. To be specific, it sits at a 70. But, you know, there are other slug shotguns in the game too, and they need a bit of love as well. Like Bone Chiller, or as I like to call it, Edge Transit, because it's seemingly the only drop the sandbox team's letting me have this season, or first in, last out, one of my personal favorites. Heritage is another great drop, one you could only get from the Deep Stone Crypt, and it's at its best in my opinion if you've got reconstruction and recombination. If I could get these things to drop, I would show them, but RNG has not been kind to me over the past 72 hours. Except for with Bone Chiller, I've got plenty of those. I do, however, have duality, and before I get any further off track here, we need to sit down and have a nice long talk about it, because it's awesome. It's not necessarily my go-to gun, because it hits for solar damage and most of the legend slash master sectors are lacking in solar shields or they're just crawling with dickishly placed barrier champions. I'm looking at you, Velis Labyrinth. And as a result, I find it difficult to fit it into a loadout. Nevertheless though, it's a solid damage machine, maybe even enough to give Roadborne a run for its money, mostly because of black wings. So we're gonna see how the two stack up against one another. To kick things off, the big difference between the two is that Chaperone is a kinetic weapon and Duality is an energy weapon. For any new players out there, all that means is that Duality will hit shields harder because it has an element assigned to it, and Chaperone will likely hit unshielded targets harder because it's meant for raw damage. It's not rocket science. If it has a shield, don't hit it with a kinetic weapon. It's just a waste of ammunition and instance activities, especially when match game is a modifier. Now, let's take a look at some stats. Chaperone hits for a 75 in impact at a 70 RPM, with duality hitting for 80 at 65 RPM, so it evens itself out just a little bit. Chaperone fires for a range of 100, excluding Roadborne, while while duality lags behind at a 78 in range. Chaperone drops the ball a bit in the stability department, sitting at an abysmal 37 while duality climbs to a 55. Lastly, we've got handling and reload, to which duality has 82 and 11, respectively. Chaperone shares an identical handling stat of 82, unbuffed, and its reload is garbage without roadborne or shotgun loader, so it doesn't matter. So we've got two rather similar guns here, differing only by range and stability. Chaperone favoring in range, and duality favoring in stability. So how about damage, since that's the only thing anybody cares about, and it's also the most difficult part of this video to actually film, because they took away my tribute haul. So yeah, fun stuff. In order to do this right, I gotta set up a few ground rules. First, weapon tests are only done in legend sectors, dungeons, or raids. High level instances are required to get the most accurate data here. Second, power level will remain at a solid 1260, not a single point higher or lower so the average doesn't mess with the numbers. And lastly, there are no damage boosting mods here. We're looking for raw damage to get the best comparison that we can. That means no high energy fire, no tractor cannon debuff, no tether, no divinity. You get the gist of it. Just straight damage. For convenience, we're starting in the Shattered Throne because it's the dungeon that I know best and the mob density is well more than adequate for the information that we're after. There's a lot of numbers on screen here so I'll just make it easy for everybody. The Labyrinth Architect is our target and he's got around 90k health. At point blank, each of these slugs is going to hit him for 12,731 critical damage and 7,255 body damage with no stacks of black wings. Meaning his funeral is going to cost me anywhere between 7 to 10 slugs depending on range if I hit for critical damage every time. Now we're going to look at the chaperone. Same target, same scenario. At point blank, each slug will hit for 13,176 critical damage and 7,508 body damage. Roadborne is not active and chaperone ain't cheap, which means it's going to cost me a bit more ammunition this time around. In the long stretch of things though, that 10 percent damage boost kinetic weapons have against unshielded targets is already starting to show, but that doesn't mean one weapon is weaker than the other. As a matter of fact, both of these guns hit their target within 6 to 8k of one another. Now that might seem like a lot, but it's actually a lot less than you think, because both guns hit for in and around twice that with a single slug, at the same power level, against the same monster. In terms of raw physical damage, Chaperone is always going to hit just a wee bit harder because it has no element assigned to it, but I can almost guarantee you that Black Wings will outdamage Roadborne in the long run. We're going to take a quick look at each exotic's perks and how they modify damage during a typical combat encounter. So let's start with Black Wings, but to do that we'll need to go someplace a little less hectic, and by that I mean Pit of Heresy. Black Wings, Duality's perk, converts hip-fired kills into a temporary slug damage buff, and it stacks on itself five times. For the sake of convenience, here's a slug against a Hive Boomer with no stacks. 
25,772, not too shabby. Here's another slug with three stacks. This time damage went up to 33,835. That's almost 9,000 extra damage just for having three stacks of black wings. So even though this thing sits in the energy slot, it can still slap you up and down the street. I'll remember that next time I go into Deep Stone. Conversely, Roadborn, the chaperone's perk, provides no stacking damage buff, but rather a flat increase to damage and a handful of other stats as well for a set duration. For reference or context, let's take a look and see how the chaperone fares against the same exact hive boomer. That's looking like 32,632. As for which one is gonna ultimately outdamage the other, Duality is clearly winning right now. It has a stacking damage buff. At the same power level, with a 10% damage decrease against unshielded targets, Duality is still hitting for at least 1,000 more than my chaperone, and it was only at three stacks. So yeah, Duality slaps. However, we also need to take into account body damage. Technically, these are both slugs that we're working with here, but Duality has two different firing methods. You'll fire a slug when you aim and a pellet spread from the hip. So let's take a look at some more footage and I'll show you the difference between the two guns and each non-critical hit. So that right there is eight hits, seven of them hitting for 1558 and a straggler hitting for 1557 for some reason that nobody can explain. The real difference between the two buffs here is ease of use and secondary buffs. Like I said earlier, Roadborn gives a flat damage increase for a set duration and because of that it's easier to maximize. All I have to do to hit max potential damage is just get a critical kill. There is no stacking or building, just shoot someone in the face. On top of the critical damage boost, there's a boost to reload speed, range, and handling as well, making the gun faster and easier to use. Duality, on the other hand, I have to build it. It's not like it's difficult to build the stacks, it just takes longer, and black wings only last for roughly 5 seconds max. Unless you get a critical kill, which adds more time to the buff, it'll expire and you're back at zero. You've wasted ammunition for a menial damage increase at best. So which one actually hits harder? Which one is more practical for use in instance activities? Well, based on the numbers, that second question is actually pretty easy. The chaperone will always be more practical, because it's easier. With base damage, no critical modifiers, and no buffs, duality will always fall short. It's an energy shotgun. It might hit hard, but it can't outdamage a kinetic weapon of the same general class. Duality could potentially be a really good bossing weapon in the near future. That really depends on how the community takes to it and whether or not Glad can find a way to break it. I mean, hey, stranger things have happened. In essence, these two guns are very, very similar. I may be a stickler, and I'll always stick with my good old-fashioned chaperone, but there is significantly more damage potential with duality. Anyway, I've said this a thousand times, you guys already know the drill. I'm in my cell, so if anybody needs me, you know where I am.